Okay, so hello everybody, it's Rob here. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, okay, so uh, I've already done the wash of the car, just going to run over the products that were used. Uh, I don't know what was being tested more, the products or me. This temperature is just crazy stupid, but I had to do that. Uh, so, I'm going to run over the products just now. So, for the wheels, I was using Simon's Speed Shop Fallout Wheel Cleaner for my pre wash. Again, back in with the CI wash from Bouncers. For the shampoo, which is the main products we've used today, is Mirror Image Hydrate Shampoo, or sorry, Mirror Image Car Care, and Mirror Image Car Care Igloo Alkaline Snow Foam. Okay. So for that, that's basically most of that part done. Uh, did use fallout remover for the car, because we don't know I don't know what's been done with this vehicle, it's the first time I've touched this car. So I went in with Devil's Blood from Carkem and then for everything, once everything was done a little bit of a quick detailer on so it's uh, just way too stupid hot to wax in this temperature so we went for Mirror Image Car Care Hydrate Detailer X and for the glass Mirror Image SiO2 Glass Cleaner and for the tyres, one that I've been looking forward to try is Mile Deep Black. Okay, so that's all the products we used today. Uh, I will crack on, get everything else edited, and I will see you once we start to prep for the shampoo and the buckets. Speak to you soon. Hello everybody. Okay, so let's get a walk around this car. So, I'm not sure of the year of making this vehicle, but I can tell you that it is a Ford Puma ST line. Uh, this belongs to one of my neighbours, and I took an opportunity to give it a wash. Uh, so, I don't know the history behind the vehicle, don't know what methods were used in washing it previously. Looking around it, I didn't see any swirl marks or any holograms, anything like that at all, so it was actually a nice little surprise to be able to work on. So, yes, there is lots of bird crap all over it, some of it was baked on pretty well. The wheels have that, it looks like red sand, I've never seen that before. Um, must be the type of brake pads that are used within the vehicle. Uh, so yeah, there you go, nice one caked on one there. The car is pretty filthy, a lot of nooks and crannies, even in those Puma letters I noticed the dirt really holding into it, as well as along this bottom section you can see it all caked in right there. Okay, so uh, we'll catch up with you in a few moments once we start to prep the wash buckets. Okay, so for the wash buckets, I have the syringe with 100 millilitres of Mirror Image Hydrate Shampoo, 50 millilitres into each, and then agitated with the Lance. Uh, recommendations are 50 millilitres to 100 millilitres to a 20 litre bucket. I can only assume that that's to do with a harder or harsher water, but you get nice low parts per million up here. Uh, so I went with the 50 and it was actually pretty decent. Okay, so that's the buckets all done, ready to go. It is wheel time. So, in my hand there I have Simon's Speed Shop Fallout Wheel Cleaner. Uh, I got this and a quick detailer from Simon at Waxstock. Uh, the quite detailer will be on a different video at a later date. 
So, bit of veal cleaner on and covered it over with some easy car care viper in that foam cannon. Uh, I love this stuff because you can see top right hand corner already there, it's already starting to go brown so it's pulling away the dirt and this one did actually need a second hit. So as always in with the wheel scrubber, get that all scrubbed up and then on to the wheel face brush to take off any of the front of grime and then after that it couldn't find out that many things on my bucket right down sank to the bottom is one of my new brushes so give the outside a little run round and then get right into all those nooks and crannies and get rid of all of the fallout that the dot that was in there and got to say this remove this fuel cleaner done a really good job I've not really done many diamond cut alloys, so I wasn't quite 100% sure how it would all turn out, but they came out absolutely beautifully. And I'm with the barrel brush, look at all that dirt coming out there. Most of it ended up all over my legs that I didn't realise until later on. The joys of wearing shorts while cleaning the car. Uh, yeah, so gave that a little rinse down and then gave it a second hit with the for the tyres because I'm going to be applying a tyre dressing later on. Well, catch you in the next part. Okay, so the age-old debate, pre-rinse before pre-wash, it's really up to yourselves, but I thought with the, the dust that sat on this, I would give it a go. And once I finished that, I quickly got around the car with some bouncer CI wash, and then on with the snow foam. Now, I do have a little helper with me today. This is my, actually the car owner's nephew, who stays just across the street from me. So I let them do the snow foam, then I went round with the brush getting into all of those little nooks and crannies and then I got him to help me with letting them do the rinse down and got to say he had an absolute ball, he was loving it and all the time granny was there in the background, there she is, there's Mary uh, she was just taking some videos and actually being proud of her grandson Okay, so a couple of quick pictures of the car chem devil's blood. Um, not a lot of fallout on the car, but there was enough that you could get a good few photographs of it. And in the next bit, I'll just be rinsing it off. But yeah, this stuff actually worked pretty well. Okay, so now it's time for the contact wash. Uh, I'm using the Garage Therapy wash pad. Absolutely loving this thing. Uh, so the shampoo itself does not have a lot of foaming agents in it, uh, but does have quite a nice little scent to it whilst you're using it. But it does feel nice and slick, sleek and glides over the panels. And it done exactly what we needed to do. Uh, we it cleaned the car very well and it worked perfectly so can't grumble at that. Okay, and as always, towel dried with the Clay Cloth Company Mammoth Drying Towel. I do have one from Mile Deep that I will be trying out in the near future. 
I made a bit of a mistake with that previously. Okay, so time for the quick detail on how the car is all dried. As don't know if you noticed, there was not any protection on this vehicle. So again, mirror image car care, and we have the Hydrate Detailer X, which is a I'm not quite sure how new it is, but I did have the previous one, which was pretty good. Uh, so here's hoping that this one comes out pretty well. At this point in the day, I was absolutely broken with this temperature outside. The panels were roasting hot. I initially thought that the quick detailer was just, it was flashing away too quick. Um, and I put that down to the panel temperature. But I did speak to the owner of the company and he said, no, that will be act the exact same way on a cold panel, different weather conditions. Uh, but all in, it was an absolute treat to work with. You can get away with one cloth all around. Okay, so a little bit of a time lapse getting around the car with the QD. You can see just how fast it is. Um, so there's not really much more that I can say to this, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it does react in the future. Okay, so it is now tyre time. We have Mile Deep Black. This is their tyre serum. Uh, applied it to the puck that I've been using and applied it to the tyre. Got to say, this stuff went on beautifully. Um, very, very similar feel of it to the previous one that I've used bouncers. Um, so, you, know, you all know how much I love bouncer stuff. This stuff reacts the exact same way. Really nice to go on, don't really need a lot of it, it spreads absolutely beautifully. So if you're wanting to give it a try, give them a shout, give them a, a, a look up on their website, they've got plenty of products you can find in some of my previous videos. Okay, so I want to show all around the car, but I will do three of the windows on it. So this is Mirror Image SiO2 Glass Cleaner. Um, again, another product that flashes really, really quickly, but still gives you enough time to give the glass a wipe down. You don't need to go back and buff and buff and buff like you have to do with some other ones. Um, it's just a beautiful product to use. Okay, so um, I'll finish this back window off and then I'll catch you at the next bit. Okay, so my thoughts on these products, uh, not one product I used, disappointed, that's probably the easiest way I can put it, uh, all the mirror image products done exactly as they say on the tin and done it very very well, Simon Speed Shop, Fallout Wheel Cleaner reacted pretty quickly with the fallout that was there, um, and done a real great job cleaning um, and did come up quite soapy as well. Uh, what else have we got? The tyre serum black from Mile Deep leaves a beautiful, not quite high gloss, but not quite matte. It's a nice sheen to it, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, all in, um, absolutely great products. One thing I did notice when I was taking the photographs of the car, which is really hard to get a hold of, not really got a hold of, but really hard to get a photograph of is the metallics in this paint from the Hydrate X just popped. Um, because of the bright sun, it was really hard to get a really, really good picture of it. Um, but there are some photographs at the end. You can see just how it all turned out. So thank you very much for making it this far into the video. 
um, you've not got long left now but if you haven't already done so please do leave me a like leave me a subscribe if you haven't already done so and if there's anything in particular that you would like to see or if I'm maybe doing something in the wrong order that you want to see differently just give me a shout and we'll have a look at it for you so thank you very much guys and you all have a lovely time